Have you ever wanted to work at companies like Google, Amazon, or Meta? But what ends up happening is that you apply and then you get straight up rejected, or you actually get an interview, but you totally botched the questions because they were really, really hard, or you actually do well on the interview, but somehow still get rejected without any explanation. And trust me, they never give an explanation. Or I even know some people that think that they aren't even worthy of applying to some of these companies because they don't think that they have the necessary experience or they have a really, really bad case of imposter syndrome. Let me just say there's a way around all of that. I was able to get a software engineering internship at Amazon as a freshman in college and here's exactly what I focused on to secure that role. And make sure to stick around to the end because I'm going to be showing you guys a way you can almost guarantee a spot at a top tech company. So when it comes to applying to internships, there are basically four main elements that you need to master. The resume, LinkedIn slash connections, behavioral interview, and technical skills. Notice how I didn't say that you need five years of experience. I didn't say that you have to have taken machine learning or AI courses. Nope, just these four elements. So for First up, resume. You want to make sure your resume is parsable, readable, and has appropriate amount of spacing. Stop using those ugly two-column resumes and definitely, please, don't use colorful resumes. This is not kindergarten. Also make sure there's nothing on it from high school because especially if you're a freshman, you need to distance yourself as best as you can from the idea that you have no experience. Because as soon as recruiters see things from high school, rejected. Even if it's robotics club or AP computer science, just take it off. Because once you have a clean slate, stack college experiences such as GitHub projects, technical extracurriculars, or even projects that you do in your own courses. Try to get as many of those as soon as you can. And if you guys want, I have a resume template in the description below. The next category I got is LinkedIn slash connections. So after you built up a really good resume, when you go to apply, whether that be at a career fair or online, people are going to search you up on LinkedIn. First of all, having a LinkedIn and having it primed and ready with essentially a digital copy of your resume is good and try to get endorsements from people for certain things like programming languages like Java or Python because that will really help because you can actually apply to certain jobs or internships through LinkedIn itself. LinkedIn is also a really powerful tool to search for people. For example, I've designed my LinkedIn in such a way that I have thousands of connections and I get many profile views as well as messages from recruiters per day. So if I ever need a job, I got LinkedIn right there. You can also leverage LinkedIn to ask people for referrals, which is really the most important part about having a LinkedIn. I've touched upon this in previous videos and in fact, always get a referral from LinkedIn connections before applying. So once you have your LinkedIn down, next we got the behavioral interview. And the first part about behavioral interview, you need to have a perfect elevator pitch. An elevator pitch is basically a 30 to 45 second spiel about yourself. It can go something like, hi, my name is Bob. I'm a student at this university. I have experience doing X while doing X and I accomplished X. The last part of your elevator pitch should actually connect you to the company itself because ultimately that's the goal. You want to connect your experiences with working at this company. And this is the part a lot of people mess up on. They just sort of give their pitch. Then the recruiter just kind of sits there as like, so what do I do now? And the person also has no idea what they're doing. So actually connecting what you have to the company and maybe even tying in some core values there, that would really help. Additionally, obviously you got to make sure you have your strengths and weaknesses questioned down. You want to emphasize your leadership and communication skills while maintaining humility and an eagerness to learn. You also want to be able to derive your character qualities from your experiences itself. And I know some of you will say, oh, but I actually have no experience. Guess what? Even a personal project, whether it's technical or not, is an experience. And if you did do a personal project, you can talk about your character qualities being that you're extremely curious or you have a drive to dive deep into certain subjects, which is actually really, really valuable to tech companies. Now, before I continue onwards about the technical interview, I want to make a small note. Everything that I shared in this video is just part of what you need. Actually doing everything in this video takes a lot of time and effort. I get it, but actually it doesn't have to. I'd like to introduce you all to Intern Success Academy. This is a cohort based program that I'm launching to help students like yourselves get into top tier tech companies. Everything that I went over, such as the resume, LinkedIn, behavioral, and even technical interviews will be discussed in so much depth in this program, and you'll be able to get individualized support tailored to what you need. So you will get the knowledge of all this stuff, then the implementation of doing all these things, and you'll be able to ask me any questions throughout and get on-demand support. I'll also be offering bonus lectures with people who have worked at companies like Google, Meta, and Amazon can give a lecture about their experiences so you'll know what the application process is like as well as how it's like working at a top tier company. Additionally, we'll have a community feature as part of this program so you can discuss common struggles and use this as a way to build connections and also get referrals because if one person gets into one company for an internship, well, they can actually refer other people and then 
boom, you have referrals and connections for life. I'll also be offering resume reviews, elevator pitch reviews, and mock interview prep. Basically everything that you need for an internship, both the knowledge and practice will be offered. Now you're probably wondering if I'm getting all these benefits, how much is this gonna cost me? So I actually have a few different packages for different offers on my website, internsuccessacademy.com. You can check them out. The first one starts at $197. Now hold up, before you squawk at me in the comment section calling me scam artist, hear me out. For the type of software engineering internship you would probably get through this, you should be making somewhere between $45 and $60 an hour. So if you think about it, this program would cost you less than a half day's worth of work. But even if you get an internship that pays you $20 or $25 an hour, this program only would have costed you a little more than a day's worth of work. Plus, you would have gained all this info that you have access to forever. You have a community of people that you can always reach out to for referrals, so you can use this to help you with future internships or even full-time jobs. And speaking of money, I even threw in a bonus lecture about how to negotiate your job offers so you guys get your money right. And on top of all that, the cherry on top. If you sign up within the next 24 hours, you'll get a 20% off with this code right here. On top of all that, there's a refund policy. So if you don't like it, there's absolutely no risk involved. The only thing is because of the in-depth support I offer in this program, I'm only opening the program to the first 30 students that sign up. Because although I could teach a lot of people at once, I'd rather just take on a few students and give them a really good quality support. So once the first 30 students sign up, the registration will close. A little more information about this program is that it's a four week cohort with live sessions during weekday evenings EST with everything being recorded. And the program start date will be sometime mid September with more details to come forward. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or email this email right here. Now I could get back into the video, but I'd rather let you guys watch this more detailed video about how to pass your technical interview and I'll catch you guys next time.